Pete Ostrom, and you might remember me as the original Charlie Bucket from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. My <laughs> earliest experience on stage as an actor was at the Cleveland Playhouse. And I was exposed to theater probably when I was 10, 11 years old. And I thought that that looked like something that I would really like to do. And I had the opportunity to be on the stage and that gave me a way to express what I like to do and it was a great outlet. Um, the film came along and I had the opportunity, I was in the right place at the right time. You know, people would say, well don't even try because there's no way, there's no chance that you're ever going to be in a film. You know, you have nothing to lose. You know, I said, sure, I'll try out, knowing that I probably wouldn't get the part, but, but as luck would have it, I did, you know. That was the only film I ever made. My life went in a different direction. I'm a veterinarian, and uh, that, you know, totally different career. But it's what I like to do, and again, it was, that was a long shot, you know, even now, getting into veterinary school is very difficult. But unless you try, unless you give it your best shot, you never know. If you don't try, you're guaranteed to fail. You know, if you do try, hey, it may work out for you. I hate to say that it was one and done, my career, but it really was <laughs> as far as the film industry. But I never, I enjoyed doing it. I had a great time, fond memories. But it's never, I didn't think that the film industry was something that I wanted to pursue my entire life. And I had other opportunities, other interests, and I followed those paths. What I like to think about is if, if you could only make one film, this was the film to be in. Because here we are 50 years later, and people are still talking about it. They have fond memories. It's like three or four generations of people that have enjoyed watching this movie. And there's not very many films that we can say that about. Wizard of Oz, yes. And now I think Willy Wonka can be kind of in that same category. So it's almost 50 years. You know, next year we'll be celebrating, or in, in, uh, in 2021 we'll be celebrating the 50th. So it, it was a short career, but this film is kind of, uh, made my brief career last a very long time. Countless people have said, oh, the, the character Charlie, that it made a big influence on their life, and to be involved with that, it, it, it's uh, very humbling. Um, I, I do believe, uh, you know, why this film resonates with so many people, and you know, younger generations and older generations, there's a little bit of everything in the film for people, but you know, the role of Charlie and that if you do good things, you know, good things are gonna happen to you. You know, be honest, be kind, be humble. You know, good things happen to Charlie and, and, and that's a good message for people to remember. Gene Wilder and Jack Albertson, you know, they both, both of them kind of took me under their wing. They were they were pros, they were professionals, you know, had long careers by the time Willy Wonka came out. I was a rookie, you know, I didn't know anything, but they were very patient and very kind. And again, it was, it was a, a great experience to be involved with those guys. So nothing but, you know, positive things, positive accolades for, for both of them. They, they were great. I'm all about education for kids and public school systems, and we talk about STEM. You know, we talk about science, technology, engineering, math, but it's not complete. It should be STEAM. So we've got to include the arts. You know, school systems are only as strong. You can tell how strong a school system is, how strong a school is, by how strong their arts department is. If they have photography, if they have music, if they have art, 
If they have those incorporated into the curriculum, the school's really, really good. If they don't have that, then the school system is not as positive. It's not as good. You gotta include art. I love the Renaissance period. My wife is an artist, and she mainly her uh, medium is watercolor. A lot of pastel, but mainly watercolor. And you could put me in a room, and I couldn't do that in a hundred years. I don't have that talent, I don't have that ability. So I'm impressed by people that can look at something and then get it on paper. So we all have unique talents, being an artist. <laughs> in the physical media, that's not what I do. I was a little bit of an actor, but people that are true artists, like my wife, it's, it's an amazing process. So I have great respect for, for what people do in, in that area. So coming up on our 50th, hopefully we'll have a 100th anniversary too. And when people watch this film, and they always say, hey, Peter Osterme was never in any other film, you know, wonder what happened to him. Want people to remember, you know, as a 12-year-old kid, Charlie Bucket had a great role, but then he went on to do other things in a totally different profession as a veterinarian, made a great contribution in, in that area. I have two kids who are extremely important to me. I'd like them to think that I was a really great father and that at the end of the day, I was a good person.